Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to process an underexposed raw photo and recover as much detail as possible. You can download the project files to see how everything was put together and have files to work with if you don't have any of your own. Let's get started. So the changes that I'm going to be making can be done both in Photoshop using Adobe Camera Raw or in Lightroom. I'm going to be showing you in Adobe Camera Raw. A lot of times when you're shooting an event that has a lot of action, you'll set your camera to a non-manual mode, simply because you won't have time to change the settings manually with things happening so fast. So sometimes you'll end up with photos that are underexposed. This happens especially when you're shooting outdoors where the sky is a lot brighter than the foreground. So here's our original image, and the sky is really cool looking, but the foreground is just too dark. So what we're going to do is bring back the details in the shadows to brighten things up a bit, then make final adjustments to get our final image, which is this. Now you can see the difference between the before and the after, and the after image is just a lot more dramatic and interesting. So the first thing that we're going to do is adjust the exposure in our original image. So I'm going to come over to the exposure slider and take that up to about 0.5 or so. And then I want to increase the brightness of all these dark areas down here. So I'm going to increase the shadows all the way up to 100. Next, I want this foreground to be a little brighter than my sky, so I'm going to come up and choose the Graduated Filter tool. And with my exposure set to about one-third of a stop, I'm going to drag from the foreground to the background to apply that exposure effect just to the foreground. That's all we really need to do to bring back the details that we want, so now we can process the image like usual. A lot of times outdoor images with dramatic backgrounds look really great with high clarity settings, so I'm going to take my clarity slider and drag it all the way up to 100. Next I'm going to take my white slider and take that up to about 10 and that will just make the highlights in my image stand out a little bit more. Next I'll go into my details panel and I'm going to increase the sharpening to about 75 and that will give my image a little grittier feel, which makes sense for the context of this photo. Next I'm going to come into my effects panel and give it a little vignette, so I'm going to take the amount down just to about negative 10 and I want the vignette to reach into my image just a little bit more, so I'm going to decrease the midpoint from 50 to about 40. Lastly, I think the sky in this image is really cool, so I want to make it stand out even more. So I'm going to go into my Hue, Saturation, and Luminance panel, and first for the saturation, I'm going to increase the saturation of the blues in my image to about 50. And that will make my sky a lot bluer. Then I'm going to go into my luminance panel and I want to darken the sky using the blues slider and taking that down to about negative 25. So if I uncheck and check the preview checkbox up here, you can see what a big difference it makes just by adjusting those two sliders in the HSL panel. Now raw files store a lot of data in the shadows, so you can usually bring back almost any underexposed image and make it work. Obviously it's best to properly expose your photos when you can, but keep in mind that it's better to underexpose than overexpose. If you overexpose a photo, there's almost nothing you can do to bring back the detail in the highlight areas if they're completely blown out. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.